Welcome everyone to July 2022's collection update. Um, since I've been doing it like this once a month, I haven't really got a whole lot of stuff, you know, just here and there. I think two months ago I got like nine. Uh, last month was really slow. I only got four. But this month I got ten. Ten Blu-rays in this whole month. And um, I think I got some pretty good ones. Like I said, I'm going over quality over quantity from now on. So these updates, you know, some people get 10 in one week. It took me a whole month to get the ones that I really wanted to. There's a few upgrades in here and uh, a few new ones that just came out that I had to get to check out and I wasn't disappointed. Let's flip the camera around and show you what I got. All right, the first few are all upgrades. Some of them I've had on DVD. Some of them I've got on VHS. Um, and I'll probably get rid of the DVDs. There's a few VHS I still might keep. But I ordered all these in the mail. If you remember, about a few months ago, I picked up the uh, Dracula Complete Legacy Collection for 2 bucks at a um, Goodwill. Well, I decided to go ahead and get some more of them. And the first one I got right here is the Wolfman Comple Complete Legacy Collection. It says it's got all seven films from 1935 to 1948. Flip it around right here, and it's got The Wolfman from 1941, Frankenstein Meets the Wolfman from 43, House of Frankenstein from 44, House of Dracula, which he was in in 1945, Abbott and Costello Meet Frankenstein from 1948, Werewolf of London from 1935, and from 1946, we have She-Wolf of London. The Wolfman appeared in all these. These are really cool sets uh like i said i had the um dracula one i got a few months ago real cheap but uh, i think i only paid about 20 bucks for most of these there's a few of them i got uh, a little bit less maybe 15 or something there's all the disc so yeah had to upgrade these uh and it'll be the only time i have to get them all it's the first time ever they were all released together right like this uh the next one that i have to show you is the mummy Complete Legacy Collection has six films from 32 to 55. Uh, the first one is The Mummy from 32, The Mummy's Hand from 1940, The Mummy's Tomb from 42, um, The Mummy's Ghost from 44, uh, The Mummy's Curse from 44, and Abbott and Costello Meet the Mummy uh, from 55. So yeah, it's just like the other one, made just like that. Uh, really cool, thick Blu ray case. And it's got all the movies on it. Some of them's got two of them on it. So, yeah, I'd really be interested to watch some of these. And I can maybe have some uh, reviews maybe on uh, Friday Night Frights of some of these movies since they're the classics. Uh, next up, you know, I couldn't leave old Frankie out. This is the Frankenstein Complete Legacy Collection. Uh, eight films from 31 to 48. Flip it around. Has Frankenstein from 31, The Bride of Frankenstein from 35, Son of Frankenstein from 39, The Ghost of Frankenstein from 42, uh, Frankenstein Meets the Wolfman from 43, House of Frankenstein from 44, House of Dracula from 45, and Abbott and Costello Meet Frankenstein 48. So some of these are still the ones that's from a, the um, uh, Wolfman one, The Frankenstein Meets the Wolfman, and... Um, House of Dracula, I believe. I think all of them were, was in that one. So I'm not going to open this one up. It's, it's just like the other ones. Uh, so really cool to have these three add to my collection for the uh, Blu-rays. And uh, I think they have made The Invisible Man and probably Creature from the Black Lagoon, I'm sure. Uh, this one I picked up at Walmart. Uh, it's called The Cursed. Uh, it takes place back in the 1880s. It has the chick from... Um, Yellowstone, as you can see right there. That was the main reason we probably picked it up. Uh, it's a slow burn. It's all right. Something I don't have to watch again. Uh, it starts out in World War II and then goes back 35 years. So um, I've been looking at it on the shelf for a while. It was only $14.96 at the Wally World. And, of course, I get a discount. So that always helps. Uh, next one up I got from Sloppy Second Sales. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, or Texas Chainsaw Massacre as it's put on here. 
Uh, this is the one that's been uh, released on Netflix. They uh, haven't put it out, and I don't. I've heard that they're not going to put it out, so I don't know exactly. But anyway, Sloppy Seconds does stuff that's not been put out, and they did a good job. There's no like trailer on here. But there's no extras or anything. It just starts with the Netflix uh, sign at the beginning, and it plays the movie, and it's it's pretty good. Uh, I enjoyed this one. Of course, I'd rather I had some better artwork on this. But, I mean, it is what it is. Still got to see the movie, and when I got it in the mail, I only paid 10 bucks for it. I watched it again, and I actually like this one. Uh, next one up, Fuck What Your Mama Said. This movie is good. The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. With Nicolas Cage in it. Nicolas Cage as Nick, or is Nick Cage. Um, this movie had me laughing so hard. This is the 4K Blu-ray digital I like how these new 4Ks are, the, the, the slip case is like this. Um, I don't have a 4K player, but maybe one day, who knows. But he had the Blu-ray player with it. I paid a few extra dollars because of the cool cover here. It's a lot better than the Blu-ray one. So, yeah, if you haven't seen this, you got to check it out. I laughed so hard at this movie. This movie was great. If you're a Nick Cage fan, you have to watch it. Um can't say nothing else about it. I'm not going to give the story away, but it is pretty damn good. Uh, next up, everybody got this probably a month ago. Uh, I'm just now getting it. The Batman. Watched it. I think it was a little tad too long. Um, not real big on Penguin and, of course, Catwoman and all that stuff. But, you know, it was it was all right as a you know a movie. But I still love The Dark Knight. And... Uh, so much better um, but you know it was a little bit better than what i thought it was it's got a lot of special features i haven't got around to watching them yet so the batman picked this one up at uh, wally world this is vester on video collector series dementia 13 um yeah this one i had this on this is an upgrade i had this on uh, uh vhs first film by francis for a couple of it's black and white um it's a pretty good film. I really enjoyed it. So that's why I decided to pick this up. It was only like, I think nine or 10 bucks. It's really cheap. Uh, and I love the cover. That's a pretty cool cover of that. Uh, same thing on the Blu-ray. And I don't have too many of these um, best drawn videos. So why not pick it up? Uh, next one is Father Stew. I picked this up at Wally World too. Uh, of course, Mark Wahlberg. This is a true story. Uh, pretty cool. The guy's been in jail. He's he's a boxer and he's just down on his luck. And he's his dad is Mel Gibson in the movie. Uh, he's an alcoholic. <laughs> anyway, short story. Um, he gets in a car wreck and then he has a vision of wanting to be a priest. So he decides to, you know, try to be a a, a priest in the priesthood and everything. Uh, it's a pretty good film. It's actually comical in parts too and stuff. Um, and he did put, uh, put on a little bit of weight for this movie, they said. So uh, they said it was the best performance of his career. I don't know about that, but there is some extras and stuff on here. I, I, I got to check them out too. But Father Stu was pretty good. There's another one out. Uh, I think it's called Joe Bell that I like to see his. So we uh, seem to like Mark Wahlberg in this household. So we decided to buy it and pick it up. <laughs> Last... But surely not the least is the Video Violence Snuff Collection right here. Had to order this bad boy from, uh, what was the company? TerraVision Records. Pick this up. It's got a nice hard case. It slides out like this. It's cool. It's uh, got Pretty in Pink right there. And Runaway Train. I love Runaway Train. It's the video store. Uh, and this side, VCR. Really cool stuff. If you've seen this movie, you know why it's got all that cool stuff. Uh, it's called Video Violence. What do you expect? Here's the original cover right here. Putting the hand on the v VHS tape and putting it in with the bloody hand and stuff. Um, this has part one and part two. You can switch the cover around. There's the disc right there. I used to have part one on VHS, of course. Very rare to get. And I sold it about two years ago to the Horror Man. And I kind of regret it for a while. There's the part two cover. You can switch it if you want to. I don't know why they just didn't have 
two disc in this with uh, two cases. Um, but, you know, I don't regret it now. This is a cool set. I've seen uh, some other people pick this one up. Uh, the back of the hard box here where it slides out sideways. I like that too. And there it is. Video Violence. And video Violence 2. Uh, the Exploitation. I have um, never seen the second one. So I'm going to have to check it out. If you've never seen Video Violence. Check this out. It's a little pricey. I paid around 50 bucks for this set. But that's like 25 a movie. So it's not too bad. Uh, definitely wanted to get it. Because eventually it will probably be out of print. You know how that stuff goes. So. Yeah, this one's got, like I said, it's and this slipcase is really cool, too. So, um, definitely had to add that to the collection. And uh, that is it for this month, July. Blu-ray update here, the collection update. Video Violence is the, uh, probably the most expensive one in this. But, you know, surely, maybe not the best. But, I got some cool stuff. That's it for this video. See you next month on the collection update. But don't forget, I have plenty of other videos coming up to you from Movie John. Till next time.